Hey guys, I'm Jay Dupree, and today I will be showing you some strategy shots that will surely help out your game. Uh, so these shots are just very good thinking shots. Like, uh, how do you just mess up your opponent if you don't have a shot? I'm not necessarily talking about safeties, but just different strategic shots that will win you more matches. So, first we're just going to start with a simple nine ball. Rack and I'm not going to break like too hard or anything. I'm just going to break them up and give myself a ball in hand to show you guys what I'm talking about. Well, that was a good break for just simply breaking them. So, let's take this and let's put the nine ball here. And our cue ball is right here. So, in this situation, most people would not think about anything and they just try to kick at the two. And then they would have absolutely nothing and then look at this. Look at this. Your opponent has a shot on the nine. Now, I'm going to try to set this up as close as possible as what I had it. I think it was something like that. What I would do in this situation, since this kick shot is not an easy make with good position, what you should do is just take the intentional foul and pocket the nine. That way, the nine ball goes back to the spot. Your opponent gets the ball in hand, but this isn't the clearest of runouts. There's a lot of cross table play. Uh, so your opponent would have to play a few real good shots. And you want to make them earn their run out, or earn, earn the win. You don't want to just give them an easy, easy win. You want to make them earn it. Uh, and apparently this wasn't too hard of a run out. But you would still want to play that shot just because it's an easier option and it that run out was a lot harder than that 2-9 combo. Just let me guarantee you that that combo was a lot harder than a 2 9 combo. And there's a similar shot that we can play in the game of 8 ball. So let me get out all the balls. I'm going to rack them real, real, real fast. It's not going to be a correct rack. I'm just going to put it in the middle of this up. Good enough. We're going to break randomly. Okay, so let's say that we are stripes. Let's say we're stripes, and this is our setup. Move this five over here, this right here, and here we go. And let's say our opponent's solids are like down here somewhere, and these are all of your stripes. Now here's a shot that some people who don't play the game a lot may find a little crazy uh, because why would you want to pocket your opponent's ball? Well, look what happens if we just go for this nine into there. It's a tough shot, but it's makeable. You see, now we can try to run this out, but if we screw up, our opponent has a pretty open table with some easy options. You would just have to go, I don't know, maybe like Two seven, go over for the one, four into the side after the one, six five combo, leave the six there, six into the pocket, come off that rail for the eight into one of the two corners. Uh, so it's an it's a real easy run out. So let's see, let's put this back where we were. Now look what your opponent's run out turns into after we do this. Now what's he gonna do? His six is blocked. 
The only real option is a two. Look at how tough of a shot this is. It's easily able to be rattled. And then your opponent has left you a nice little 11 ball, which you would make if you took your time. Uh, but then you see how easy you have a run out now. Now your 12 is near the corner pocket. You have a lot of options with this 12 ball. And the 10 goes into either corner. 14 be, can be played a combo left near this corner. So look how easy of a run out you have now if you just focus and make the 11 ball first. Uh, so let's move on to some more strategic shots. This next shot I guess could be classified as a safety shot. Uh, but I like to think of it as a real strategic shot. So let's say we're in this position right here. We're on the eight ball, we're playing eight ball, or if you wanna play nine ball, then sub that out for the nine ball. We're on our last ball. This comes up very, very often, where the eight is further than the rail and the cue ball is almost directly across from it. The only shot we really have is that combo, that kick into the side, that bank into the side, I mean or the double bank into the opposite side. But those are very, very, very tough shots. Uh, those are shots you miss more than you make. So, shot we're gonna have to play is just a little slow roll, like that. And only play this if you don't have a ref, because this is technically an illegal shot. Because in pool, a ball must hit the rail after the first contact and if this ball is completely frozen to the rail it hits it simultaneously with the contact so no ball hits a rail after contact with this shot if your cue ball went like this then that would be fine so you could play that shot but look where your cue ball may end up if your table is a little bit unlevel. So you can only play this when the eight ball is like a little bit away from the rail if you have a ref. If you're playing against a knowledgeable player or you have a ref. Otherwise, if it's a little away from the rail, end it up like this. Like just slow roll it. Try to leave the cue ball as close to the eight as possible and try to leave the eight frozen to the rail. And this will just leave your opponent one of the tough safeties where they have to leave you with a tough shot like that and then you could just keep going back and forth in a safety battle just try to slow roll it to barely hit a rail that would give them position in the kitchen and you would just keep going with the safety battles until one of you made the ball so this shot can also be played across this direction so again, just make sure it's a little bit away from the rail. And this is where this shot gets risky. Because if we hit this slightly on this right side, look what the double kiss leaves your opponent with. So you must practice this shot before trying it. Because that's definitely not a shot you want to leave your opponent. Uh, it's a very easy shot and that's not one you want to leave on the last ball on the table so thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did please click the like button down below if you want to be notified when i post a new video you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it that'll just send you an email and a notification saying that i've uploaded a new video Thank you guys so much for 19,000 subscribers. That is absolutely crazy. 19,000 is an extremely large number and nothing that I've ever expected. And I believe we were stuck at 300 for the longest time. And that is nowhere near where we're at now. We usually gain about 300 a day which is absolutely crazy i never would expect us to grow by that much per day uh but thank you guys so much for that also thank you for 13 million watch time minutes you guys have watched me for 13 million minutes uh pretty much over this past year so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video